So I'm, I'm not a big advocate of implants because there's just too many things that can go wrong with them, okay? Patients also complain when you sit on them, it doesn't feel natural, it's hard, or it's causing nerve impingement, pinching of the nerves. So they're getting radiating nerve pain down the leg. They're getting leg weakness from motor nerves that are being uh, compressed on a daily basis. Not good. I think that if, if the tissue of the buttock is such that the skin will expand to allow the contour and shape, and I have enough volume of fat that I can harvest from another place and put in, that's ideal for a buttock tra fat transfer. People that usually have to go to an implant, if they so desire, those are the people that A, don't have enough fat volume from another area of the body to actually harvest, to move over, or B, their original anatomy is not gonna allow for that fat to be implanted like and the expand. Muscle, so, muscle, mm -hmm. Well, the, the mass. It's, it's, most of it is, it should be put in the, in the natural fatty layer of the skin, but that skin has to be expansile and flexible to accept that increased volume of fat. Some people, some, some the way the anatomy is, is that the skin, the collagen-rich dermis, is so tightly adhered through fibers, through the fatty layer, down to muscle, trying to inject fat and, and, and expand that already fatty layer is not gonna happen that easily. So if you, if you force fat into an area that has limited space, what's gonna happen? The fat cells are gonna get strangulated. They're not gonna live. In a month's time, you, you'll see some evidence of that. We call it cellulitis, where the skin is red, it's painful, that, that now you have dead fat trapped in there, it needs to be evacuated. So it's not a good idea to force something that will, is not fitting. The average person will gain about three to four inches in the width of their hips, you know, including hips, buttocks, that, that's circumferential. So that's, if they have enough fat, if they have enough expansile skin to accommodate that kind of increase. Of course, I'm usually trying to take the waistline down appreciably as well. So let's say I took your waistline down by eight inches and I expanded your buttocks and hips by four inches. Actually, I've created a 12 inch difference now between your waist and your, and your hip area. So it's really gonna look hourglass, okay? So part of doing very good contouring of the buttock involves doing excellent contouring of the waist and lower back as well to give a natural, what I call sexy ski slope from the lower back. And then out we go. And it's kind of the in and out thing because they come in, they, um, it's, it's a very, it's, it's less invasive a procedure, right? You make a, a, a little incision. Exactly. I mean, the incision is literally um, less than the width of a pencil. Mm -hmm. So in about a month, you can barely tell where, where I put these incision sites is very, very uh, inconspicuous. Not everybody. I have seen some cases where there's little incisions all over the body of the buttock, making it very obvious, with, and it, it scars contract, so they dimple in, so you see dark indented dimples. I don't think that's what the patient had in mind. They wanted this done inconspicuously, naturally, and without pigment issues and scars. So it, unless you, you know, so that's my thing. I'm gonna leave it the way I took it for the most part. You won't be able to find where I went in. Yeah, you're gonna change their life. <laughs> I am gonna awesome. change their life. So, um, finally, what's the biggest um, life transforming story that you've heard from your work? You've done over 100,000 procedures. You're, you, you're a veteran in this. You've been doing it over 20 years. Been in, you know what I mean? You're really yeah, yeah. at the peak gonna, of your career. Or there, say. there was a lady, I can. she was about 46 years old. She came to me from New Orleans. And here I practice in the metro Atlanta area. And for 26 years, her daughter was 26 years old, her only child. She had been carrying what she called the second baby that she didn't expect after she delivered the first baby, which was all this hanging skin. She was not obese. She was a very attractive woman, but she was so young and tiny when she first got pregnant that it stretched out her skin and it was covering her pubic area. She couldn't, wish she wore, wore clothes, it's, it's the skin sat in her lap. But, but literally the next day after I did a tummy tuck on her, when we took the dressings off, she just kind of just went down into this sinking motion and just started crying her eyes out. And I thought she was in pain. I thought, I was like, oh my gosh, she saw the scars. She's like, is it okay? She was like, I can just 
kick myself for not doing this 26 years ago. You mean to tell me that was it? That's all I had to do. And she just cried her, you know, her first name was Doreen. And that touched me so much that I could transform and change that lady's soul like that, you know? And she was like, you don't understand what I've had to go through to find clothes. I don't, I didn't go to social events. I was afraid to get undressed with my significant other. This, this, this is all it took, oh my God.